This video is a tutorial on how to kneel copper pipes. I will be including some tips you won't find anywhere else. Now, please remember that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, now let's go to the tutorial. If you do this in broad daylight, you won't be able to see the red pipe. Prefer a shaded or dark place to anneal pipes. And that's all. Now you can bend the pipe if you want, you can flare it, you can swage it, you can squash it. However, there's some tips that you should have in mind. Now, let's go to those tips. Tip number one. Start heating the copper at the bottom part of the section and take the flame up, up, up to the end of the section you need to kneel. That way the heat will climb up and you will drag the red hot copper up to the end. If the bend you need to make is very near the end of the pipe, cover the end with a wet rag or wet cowl so it doesn't get red hot and doesn't get soft at the end of the pipe. A soft end can get easily deformed and you have to fix that before trying to put a fitting in there and trying to solder. Start heating the part farther away from the wet rag and drag the red hot temperature down till it reaches the rag. As you can see, it's annealed all the way down to the end. But the end itself is free of annealing. It still is hard copper. If you need a 45 degree bend and you don't have a pipe bender, you can bend the pipe using your knee. Just below the kneecap, there is a space there that is kind of concave. You place the, the pipe there, you can add an extension with a T and very carefully, slowly, you start bending it, putting it towards your knee and if you make the curve round enough you can get practically a perfect curve, 45 degrees, without too much deforming the pipe. Hmm? In this case, we returned to the same parallel to the rest of the pipe.
if you had annealed the end of the pipe, you wouldn't be able to do this without deforming the end of the pipe. If the end of the pipe gets deformed and you can't get it in the fitting, you can fix this as follows. Put the end of the pipe inside your flaring tool in the proper size hole and squeeze it just enough so that it slides into the fitting. Once it goes in easily, then it's okay. The important thing is that the analog space shouldn't be too big and shouldn't be too small. If it's touching the walls or the fitting, solder won't go in there. So it must go in easily. The other method is using a spanner. You, you adjust the, the width for the width of the pipe, then you go to the thinner part and you start turning it around and you turn and turn till it's completely round. The problem with this method is it's not easy to get it perfectly round. But it's also possible. Well, that's all folks. I hope you liked this video and my tips. And if you liked it, please remember give it a thumbs up, share it, leave your comments, subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell if you want to be notified of new videos. And well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.